life's big questions. Every person is faced with some timeless and perennial questions that we can call life's big questions. We're going to be looking at scripture as we address some of these big questions that every person aims to answer once in a while. So the question we have for today is, who am I? The Bible says that we are created in God's image. Scripture says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. People use different frameworks for identifying who they are. Now these frameworks create definitions of their identity and it acts as standards of their self-worth. And sometimes these are constructive or destructive to our well-being. Some of the examples that we can look at is the identity that is defined by achievement. So if you do well in your academics or if you do well at work, you're known as an achiever. But if you don't, you're called a failure. Another identity definition is by success. When you do well, you're known to be successful. Or if you don't have enough of money or don't have a big house, you're, you're called to be a failure. And another identity that people define themselves by is outward appearance. Now these frameworks are temporal, they're earthly and human. And they speak a lie because they are short lasting and they have no permanence. The truth lies in the biblical framework where you and I are created in the image of God. So what does it mean to be created in the image of God? Since we bear God's image, we possess an innate value which is not dependent on who we are or what we do or even what we look like. We have an intrinsic value. We have an inherent worth because we bear the stamp of His likeness and image. So the question for us today is, uh, how does the biblical framework affect our everyday lives? When our ultimate identity and worth is rooted in the image of God, then we do not look to the world or what it has to offer to find out who we are. It is true that because of sin, we are distorted images, but never destroyed. How many ever mistakes we make or how sinful we are, we still bear the image of God. Although distorted, we are never worthless. Because it is in Jesus Christ that we can be set right. And these distorted images are set to their original and proper design. It is only through Jesus, as the Bible calls him, the image of the invisible God. He's the only one who makes us regain our true humanity and gives us the true nature as image bearers. This identity as his image bearer is a gift we should receive in gratitude, not a trophy that we should be earning by performance. If identity and self-worth is based on success or achievement or appearance, our identities are insecure. So in contrast to our culture's performance-driven identities, the gospel sets us free from the pressures to perform and conform. So let us live in knowledge that who we are comes from Jesus and Him alone. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for the image that you have given us. We thank you because we bear your image and we are born in your likeness. And our identity and self-worth is secure in you. Help us, Father, to live in that confidence that we bear your image and that we are satisfied in your identity. We thank you for what you have done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.